Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be having a look at the Riverside 500 and the Riverside 120. Some of the differences and some of the similarities. So I'm going to start off with these two models. The Riverside 120 is a steel frame versus the 500 which is aluminium. That's where you're going to find your biggest weight difference and the biggest benefit to going for this bike, personally. The Riverside 120 is still on rim brakes, um, not as good in wet weather conditions, whereas the 500 has got disc brakes. Gives a lot of customers a lot more confidence when it comes to braking power, but you'll notice that this kind of braking style is going to be a lot more on the modern day bikes, usually the higher price tag, but fantastic value for money and a much better brake. The next difference, suspension. So the 120 doesn't have anything, it's a rigid fork. Uh, 500, it's got a front suspension. It's not gonna be so you can go off-road riding like you would find on mountain bikes. The travel isn't gonna be as big, but to take some of the strain off your neck, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable. Any kind of gravel riding, any kind of commuter where potholes, you're gonna notice a big difference here, and it's gonna take a lot of the strain out from your neck and shoulders. Gear ratios on these bikes, so the 120's got 8 speed group set, the 500 9 speed. Some people might think they're not going to notice the difference with one extra gear, but you really do. Road bikes will usually have 11 speed, so a lot more gears. You do notice that difference, it's also a bigger cog on the 500, so you've got a 36 in the back, whereas the 120 you've got a 34. It is going to be easier to climb up hills. An extra gear in a lighter bike is always going to help. Another difference, so the Riverside 120 comes in three colourways. Uh, this grey that you see now, and a new greeny teal colour, which I'll attach a photo for you. The 500 comes in loads of different colours. Yes, it depends on the stock levels. Um, this is one of the newer colours, and we're selling a lot of them here at Capital and Southampton. Really, really popular colour, um, but there's usually a colour to suit everyone's needs. I'll put some examples on the screen now for you. One difference that kind of gets unnoticed by a lot of people is the ergonomic grips on the handlebar. I'll show you a close-up if I remember. You don't have that on the 120, it's more of a standard grip. It's built for comfort, it's built for commuting, longer rides. Um, if you're not looking for an out racer road bike or a mountain bike to go completely off-road, it's a really, really happy medium. Uh, built for comfort and these grips definitely help. When you start looking at the stem, again I'll attach a video hopefully, you'll notice there's a lot more room for adjustment on one of these 500s. The 120 you can raise it up and down, but you can't tilt the handlebar or the stem in any direction. So as far as like customising the bike, the 500 is the way forward. Some of the similarities, the tyres are going to be exactly the same. Uh, a hybridy gravel tyre, so a bit of everything in terms of terrain. The saddles are going to be the same, really really popular saddle. Obviously saddle was personal preference, but we've got loads of different options that customers can try out and we'll fit them for free. And then in terms of sizes, identical. So you have size small, medium and large, suiting all different heights. Any questions regarding the two bikes, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Oh, what am I saying? So what does it give people? <laughs>